I'm Tam. And I'm Bob. Welcome to our adventure. We made it to breakfast uh, on Wonder of the Seas. And got the market breakfast bowl, as usual. I tried the eggs gundick today with the sausage. And we'll see how they are on Wonder of the Seas. Got it here. Oh, I have seen this on YouTube. Never wonder. Well, very good morning, everyone. How are you today? Fantastic. Good. My name is Ken Rush. I am Director of Entertainment Programming, Activities, and Media at Royal Caribbean. And it is great to see everybody here one more time, because I know we've asked you a couple of times. But can we see where all of our world cruisers are? Would you mind just standing for one second? So right, let's give them second. a big round of applause. All the people Yay! that are going on the world cruise for all 274 days. Come on! Yeah. How exciting is that? All right, take a seat. But we how about bringing up the main man himself, our president and CEO of Royal Caribbean International, Mr. Michael Bailey. Yeah! yeah. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Yes. So we do. We know there's a lot of questions, and hopefully we're going to start answering them for you today. Um, but I w I'd like to make a few comments and introduce a few people. Well, maybe more than a few people to you. First of all, I have to say I'm very jealous of you all. Uh, I think you guys are doing a great thing. I mean, if, if I could. I would be on that world cruise with you. I think it's an amazing adventure. It truly is a once in a lifetime trip and it is the ultimate world cruise. I mean, that's how we thought about it and that's what we're trying to create and deliver for you. There's nothing comparable in terms of world cruises. It's the Mac Daddy of world cruises. So um, it's also fair to say that we've never done this before. Uh, so you have a lot of questions, and in many cases you ask us questions, we don't know the answer to the question. But I can assure you that we're incredibly committed to make sure that we have all of the answers to all of the questions when you need to have those answers. So, and uh, that's something that we're very focused on. But it's, a, it's an adventure for us as well. Obviously we're a global cruise company, 50 years, we have ships all over the world, we know what we're doing, don't worry, we're pretty good at what we do. But the World Cruise is a new adventure for us as well. And we want to make sure you guys have an amazing time. I do want to introduce, uh, I'm going to ask actually my colleagues um, to stand up one at a time and introduce themselves. And pretty much everybody who introduces themselves is on the World Cruise team. They have obviously their, you know, they make like car as our CMO for the company. But everybody here is part of the World Cruise team. We have a dedicated team of people who are focused on making sure that we can deliver you a really wonderful experience. So if I can ask my colleagues to, you know, starting with who, 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 so you've got a mic. Oh, um, by the way, starting with your ship's captain. Yeah. 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 It's good to have a captain. Thank you, Martin. Uh, I'm Captain Stig. I just came out uh, seven, eight, a couple of days ago to uh, join this event going on vacation after these. <laughs> My counterpart is Captain Chen that is currently on board taking care of the ship. And how these will work is that uh, I will be starting you off in uh, December. I will be on board for the first leg up to Los Angeles on February 11th. And then uh, Captain Chen will do the Asia Pacific part, which is his speciality. He's been doing it before on Legend of the Seas. And I will come back and join you again in Cyprus to uh, do the end of the world cruise with the cold waters, which I love. Uh, Northern waters, uh, Baltic, uh, Norwegian coast, Iceland and Greenland. And then we'll round it up at the end of the year. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Nibu Sai. I'll be one of the hotel directors on board. I'll be on that segment, uh, Asia Pacific region. and. Uh, uh, thank you all for being part of this uh, wonderful uh, once in a lifetime experience, exciting journey. Look forward to seeing you all. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Philip Ashcroft. I'm a hotel director also, together with Nebu. I'm originally from Liverpool in England, but I'm now residing in the natural state of Arkansas, USA. It's <laughs> a long story. Anyway. 
I'm um, like, like the girl looking after the hotel department. I've uh, been fortunate enough to be picked. Uh, both myself and the girl have great uh, world cruising experience, and uh, we look forward to putting that into effect uh, on board Serenade. Uh, I'll, I'm actually, when I leave here uh, tomorrow, I'll be going back, going to Serenade, uh, going back to Serenade to, uh, to kick it off as far as the, the, the prep of the preparing on board. But uh, we look forward to seeing you on board, and uh, yeah, let's get this world cruise started. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm uh, Aurora Yera Rodriguez, or Lolly, and I'm responsible for guest experience and guest communications. And I know that there's been a lot going on with the World Cruise. We've kicked off a brand new team uh, that's going to be led up by Nicole Lucas, who has owned guest communications for a really long time for our brand. And we saw a lot of changes come, a lot of good changes. Um, and that will still be with Naomi, who's been kicking butt with all the World Cruise operational stuff, and Amy Southgate, who will still help us with all of our travel partner communications and keeping all those lines open, and Caleb Brunel, who you can harass about all the guest comms while on board, and we're here to help and support you. I actually really wanted to go on the World Cruise. I mentioned it to Michael, he said no at first, but then he thought about the opportunity of getting rid of me for 274 days. He's like, well, maybe you should go. Actually. It wasn't you, I was hoping Ken would go on the World Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everyone, I'm so excited for you and Al, I'm going to join you for at least a segment, so you're stuck with me. Right. Morning everybody, my name is James Van Fleet. I will be your meteorologist for the World Cruise. Yeah. We'll actually be on board with you for a few sections. We're going to talk about that in just a little bit, but we want to keep things moving as we have a lot to talk to you about this morning. But very happy to be here with our CEO and very proud to be a part of this World Cruise 23-24. All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Lochran, originally from Ottawa, Canada. I reside now in Miami, Florida for the last 20 years. I'm the director of short cruises for Royal Caribbean International. And I have a team back in Miami creating and working with tour operators globally on the products in the various destinations. So we look forward to welcome you on board. Thank you. All right. I'll see you all. Good morning. Um, following Lali's path, my name, wait for it, Ivan Davido de la Rosa Lozano. <laughs> so, I'll be happy you just remember Dr. Ivan. So, I've been with the company for 18 years. Uh, 14 of those practicing medicine in our ships. So, happy for that. Uh, currently, I am your senior manager for health services. And I'm very excited to be here with you guys. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I am Michael Goldner. I lead the revenue management team for Royal Caribbean International. So I was the guy who set the prices for your cruise, so you can either thank me or blame me for your price. But uh, genuinely want to thank each and every one of you for uh, making this incredible commitment to our brand and our uh, this incredible cruise, and uh, wishing you an amazing trip. So thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Carol Wallace. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer. I've been with the company for 17 years. And me and my team are going to help support Lolly and all of the guest communications, but also Nancy and Courtney and the loyalty program. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vicki Freed. I'm the Senior Vice President of Sales, and I work with both uh, guests as well as our travel partners and so we value both uh, groups of people and we want to say we are super excited to welcome you aboard the ultimate world cruise one year from today we can't wait so we're yeah. excited to have Hi everyone, my name is Lady D'Souza, Vice President of Food and Beverage. I, I lead our beverage, restaurant and culinary teams. We are excited to bring some delicious food and beverage and cultural experiences as part of this world cruise. So thank you all for being here. Hi everybody, Jesse Hotfinger. I've been with Royal Caribbean 15 years. I run outdoor revenue and uh, customer service. What, one of the big things is a casino, so anything you guys need, let me know. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start all over again with this row? I'm kidding. We're gonna go Hi, I am uh, Raymond Scheider. I am Vice President of Hotel Operations with Royal. I'm almost 40 years with the company. Uh, 20 of those is hotel director on ships. So. 
fortunate, you know, we're fortunate to have really great uh, talent and experience for you. Uh, I'll be overseeing the planning and the um, execution of your onboard experience. So whatever we need to do to get the ship ready for you and uh, everything around it. Uh, this team here and many more which you don't see today are all very committed to have all and everything ready for you in exactly one year from now. So thanks and welcome. Good morning everybody and welcome on board. My name is Naomi and I've been with the company for 26 years. 16 of those were spent at sea. And I have the privilege to be working on the World Cruise as a project manager on Raymond's team. And so I'm looking forward to experiencing this journey with everybody. Thank you. Good morning and welcome everyone and, and thank you for uh, spending a year with us. Uh, I'm Sean Tracy. I'm the Senior Vice President of Hotel Operations. So I have the uh, distinct privilege to work with the likes of Naomi Raymond, Lincoln, Paul, Jesse, uh, uh, Ken, and, and even Ken. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, we're really excited about this. I also, I was born in Brazil. I lived in Africa, uh, Spain, Ireland, Australia, and in Singapore. So, uh, and, they're, and they're still looking for it. <laughs> so if you have questions about some of the destinations, hopefully I can help as well. So welcome and uh, thank you. And uh, I think we're ready to get started with... Uh... Oh wait, sorry. So we're also going to introduce ourselves. I'm Nancy Ramos and I lead the Crown and Anchor on Society program. Really excited to actually create an entirely new experience for all our Crown and Anchor members. This is a different sailing, so we're going to do different things on the World Cruise. Great to have you. Cool. Hi everyone, I'm Courtney Brandt. Um, I work under the leadership of Nancy Ramos as the director of Crown and Anchor Society. I think I know the answer to this, but do we have any Crown and Anchor Society members in here? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So yeah, I'm relatively new to the company, but not new to the industry, and very, very passionate about the royal brand. I'm actually a diamond member myself, so no. hoping to be a pinnacle one day. But I'm um, very excited to help plan this and give you guys some amazing benefits throughout your journey. I've got to say one thing about Courtney, I, I hope you don't mind, but um, Courtney recently joined Royal Caribbean and um, when we were talking to Courtney about taking on this role, um, she, was, she was working for a competitor MCL. I didn't say, <laughs> I didn't, I'm not going to say which, which competitor it is MCL, uh, but uh, Courtney was, was working for the competitor and uh, so we were, we were talking and <laughs> And, and Courtney said, you know, I'm a Diamond Plus. I, I do, do work for NCL, but I sail with Royal Caribbean. Yeah. And, and as soon as she said that, it's like, ding, hired. <laughs> <laughs> so it's great to have her on board. I think we have our final gentleman say hello. <clears throat> Hi, good morning. My name is Ron Pettit, and I'm the Director for Disability and Cushion in AA Compliance for Royal Caribbean International. So, my role for you on the World Cruise is to help coordinate you know, your accommodations for uh, your disability and other needs on board the ship. We'll work closely with medical and sure to get you the great and the most accessible cruise experience in the world. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. One year away from the cruise, so we obviously want to increase our communication and make sure that you, or any questions that you have, you can get to us and we can respond to them, and, and, and if, they're, you know, if they have significant meaning in terms of issues operationally, then we can come back to you with solutions and what have you. And so that's really, I think, our intention today. So I'm going to hand it over to Ken, and I think Ken's going to run us through uh, all of the questions. I, I will have to excuse myself. Um, not that I don't want to be here for the questions, but uh, I've got my family on board and they're all in a cabana in Coco Cay and they keep texting me saying, Dad, where the hell are you? Uh, so you're going to have to excuse me. I, I really want to be here for the rest of the meeting, but i, I got to go see the kids. So, uh, but I'll see you this afternoon for the cocktail party. And again, I'm very jealous of you all. So over to you, Ken. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. When can, again, we're going to call upon some of these people that are in charge of these areas. So, Paul, do you want to talk about this? I want to take a picture of this. Yeah, it's in your, it's in your little calendar. calendar in your room. Oh, perfect. Oh, sorry, I did know. Okay. So we will have a. Um, we want to launch our brochure, an electronic brochure, on January 27th, 
And you can also book the shore excursions on Royal Caribbean's website on January 27th. We've been creating a number of tours. First segment, there's 36 different destinations. We've got over 220 tours, new, still being created. So that'll be available on the website for booking. And we've created, started something, something new for you and excited is the electronic brochure per segment that we'll have available for starting with the Americas, going to Asia Pacific on March 17th, booking and brochure. Also, the brochure will be emailed to you and, and the booking is available. And then the East, uh, Middle East and Mediterranean, April 14th, May 19th for Europe and beyond. And Crown and Anchor. So we got the seven uh, complementary wonders of the world. These are the new wonders of the world, starting with Chichen Itza in Mexico, Christ Redeemer in Brazil, Machu Picchu in, in Peru, the Great Wall of China, leaving from Tianjin, getting into Beijing, Petra from Aqaba, Jordan, Taj Mahal in India, and the Colosseum in Rome, Italy. Of these five, uh, there's five that are day excursions, and there's two, the Taj Mahal and the Machu Picchu, which are multi-day excursions, which will leave from one port, go to Machu Picchu, and you'll come back on another port of call, you'll reboard the ship. So some of those excursions are two evenings. So Taj Mahal is very similar, because they're inland. They'll take uh, air flights, train, transportation, and staying at hotels as well, all part of the package. You, as a um, uh, Platinum Crown and Anchor Society member, you've uh, achieved that by June 14th, 2023, you're automatically enrolled in these seven new wonders of the world. If you decide not to take them, you can opt out and receive an onboard credit by about the same time, June 14th. All right, first time on Central Park on uh, Wonder of the Seas. We're actually going to look in search of coffee, but Central Park. Looks very similar to most of the Central Parks you'd see on the other Oasis by ships. Rabbit with a pair. There's a rabbit with a pair. And find you. This thing. This thing. And either a bikini or a. So that's our room. The window behind the little trellis thing. I'm trying to figure out if, like, our neighbor up in the balcony was opening and closing his door all night, or dragging the chairs, and dragging stuff. the chairs around, or was it some in the in the crew area? But it's very noisy last night. And on the other end of Central Park, there's another elephant. This is the aft end of Central Park. It's the pool deck. We didn't quite think about doing this with yeah, sunglasses. Out sunglasses. I think the astronaut's in the back. Let's see who's next to us. I, we haven't really explored that aspect. No, it's Independence. Okay, so it's a freedom, it's a, a freedom class. Independence of the Seas and Wonder of the Seas are the two at Coco Cay today. Pool, pool on the other side with a kids area. Splash away. Splash away on the far side. Very famous bar on the Royal Caribbean ships. Lime and coconut. Another pool area. Coke over here and take a look. Hello. We've come for the astronaut. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Astronaut. Andrew Sinclair, sitting astronaut. I actually did a photo, he has his heart. I had my coffee in my hand, like a heart, because it's my heart. Central Park area down there. Oh, there's another gingerbread village. There is another gingerbread village. Bobby, sure. We're not watching, watching. We're just going to cook, we're not eating. Otherwise, we're going to thank you for people. Asian bar and coffee. They have a brisket. of coffee. You can sit and eat and watch the boardwalk. What? The carousel. I can see the carousel from here. The back end of the ship. Independence of the seas. 
perfect day. It felt okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice kids area. This is the ultimate abyss. This is where you get in the ultimate abyss slide. You go all the way down to deck six. That's where the zip line starts. And you can over there, across the opening here, to the far side. Walk. And another, looks like a putt putt golf course, maybe? Yeah. They don't have a little V Dub bus. A loco fresh. Thought it might be more photographic. I think smash the head, I put a blade everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the uh, ultimate abyss ends up, is down there on the board off. A little closed in area for ping pong. So we don't lose as many balls that way. We're back in the pool area, Splash Wed Bay area, heading for ice cream because you can't go on a cruise ship without getting ice cream. I'd like the same thing, please. Thank you. Thank you. Ice cream. Just how big the elevators are on Wonder of the Seas. They don't have the capacity all day, do they? No, but they're huge. I mean, me and Pam can't touch each other standing on opposite sides of the elevator. So we found this gorilla on roller states doing a handstand? One handstand? It's going to be a monumentous occasion. Here we go. We're going live. Check out the video. Here we go. World Cruise. Woo! Yes, Hi everyone, and welcome to a very special day. I'll tell you exactly what day it is in just a minute, but first let me introduce myself. I am Ken Rush, Director of Entertainment in the Activity Section, Programming, as well as Media. And I'm here with, of course, the one and only Mr. Michael Bailey, and I think they know what you do. Hi Ken, that's good. It's good to know what you do. It's very refreshing to hear that. Hi everybody, I'm Michael Bailey, President and CEO of World Rugby International, and it's a great day today because, of course, it's one year before we start the World Cruise. One year, do you imagine? You know, this is something new, right? We haven't done the World Cruise that well for the family. You and I have been with the company 38 years for me, and how many years now? 40 years. 40 years. So we've never done that. We've never done a World Cruise. We've yeah, done a lot of Cruise. Yeah, we've Yes. <laughs> you know, but people have been asking us, and you guys finally made this decision. I think there's so many yeah. people excited. You know, it was it has been a journey. If you remember, we announced the World Cruise during the pandemic, yeah. and uh, we had a lot of debates within the company about the World Cruise. Should World Cruise be the World Cruise? So I was pretty passionate about the World Cruise, and I thought the timing, because we were kind of beginning to come out of the pandemic, and everybody was reevaluating their lives, and everybody was thinking about, I don't want to waste any experiences, and what were they going to do? And I, I thought it was just a wonderful time to announce a World Cruise. And as you know, it really is, we don't do it a little bit, we do the whole thing, and I think it really is the ultimate world group. It's amazing. Well, this is a bucket list item for a lot of people. Yeah, very much. And the, the bookings have been great, and they're still coming in for not only people who want to stay on for the whole world group, but people who want to do the segments as well. That's right, yeah. I mean, I think, I think uh, you know, when we first opened it for sale, we opened it for the world groups, and we were astounded by the response, it was amazing. I think within the first day, the Royal Suite sold all oh, that. And uh, it's been great ever since. And of course, now we've pretty much filled up the world rooms, and now we have the different segments that are showing you quite well. And you know, there's a lot of people that, of course, are preparing not only us in the Miami office uh, and around the world, but also the people on board, right? Yeah, I think it's a. Uh, it, you know, it's a magical time for everybody, and I think, you know, we're all excited for our guests, but I think if I could go back 40 years, I'd love to be a crew member on Saturday of the Seas. I mean, you think about the opportunity for the crew, how exciting it is, the captain, the hotel director, all of the people who work on board, they are literally going to visit every single continent, go to all of these incredible destinations. Actually, we should see if they want to pay us for that. Yeah, <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I think it's not a good idea. 
Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna, it's a good time now to throw it over to the hotel director and captain of Serenade of the Sea. Hello everyone, my name is Philip Ashcroft and I'm fortunate enough to have been chosen to be one of the hotel directors for the ultimate world cruise experience here on board Serenade of the Seas. I can't tell you how much uh, I look forward to welcoming you all on board and together with this great team we will do everything we can to make this an experience of a lifetime by bringing the destinations alive. See you soon as this next year is going to fly by. Cheers. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is uh, Sveig, I'm captain for the Seven Level Seas for the World Cruise. And one year from today, we are going to start a, a fantastic adventure that's uh, going to take us around the globe to 150 ports. We're going to cover 65,000 nautical miles. Uh, it's uh, personally, I look mostly forward to the colder parts of this uh, voyage, which means Antarctica and also the northern parts uh, taking us to Iceland and Greenland. But of course, we will all enjoy what is in between those two extremes. Thank you. One year from today, I'll see you in Miami, yeah. December 10, 2023, as we embark on the trip of a lifetime. I'll actually be on board in several places throughout the year, helping navigate you safely and comfortably through the entire world's oceans. Full nine months, all the way around. Do you have a favorite port? Will that change by the end of the trip? So many possibilities, and we are excited. Countdown is on. One year. See you in Miami, friends. So thank you, Captain. Thank you, Hotel Director. And of course, thank you, James Van Fleet, who's also going to be making sure that he's got the ship in the greatest possible place to avoid any terrible weather. Stuff. And you know, one of the things that we're going to make sure that everybody celebrates with, of course, is the beverage. And I know a lot of people drink alcohol, some people don't drink alcohol, but I believe they may be making it non alcohol as well. But the signature cocktail is the World Cruise Sparkle. Sparkle, isn't that a great name? Have you tried it? I haven't tried it yet. And as a matter of fact, I think they're showing for the people watching at home how to make it from home. So you can make it and kind of get ready in the next year to have to be ready to enjoy it. We really need to try it. We do. Yeah. We do. And there's a special group here on board, on the beam, uh, of course, on board our Wonder of the Seas that we're going to say hi to yeah. today and after this. And we're going to go see them live that are 300 of the members of the world. So we'll say hi, maybe have a toast with them inside there. I love that idea. And talking of 300, it's 365 days until the world group starts. So it's becoming more and more exciting. I think everybody's looking forward to it. The team is now really mobilizing behind, making sure that we're going to deliver a great experience. And we're looking forward to that whole event. So, cheers! So good health, congratulations, and here's to the ultimate world cruise. Cheers, everybody.
we will see you around the ship. Thank you very much. Peach, no, not peach. Not mango. Dry. No apple. Hey. We'll see you on the crew. Uh, for seven seconds. For at we, least seven seconds. We have not figured out where Ed is. So Ed would? Yeah. 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 And I'm going to the aqua theater to save like four seats. Uh, for a nine o'clock show. And it's 8.35. So we'll see how this goes. like that we're off the ship and uh back in port canaveral after two days on wonder of the seas getting to the terminal all right it's 8 30 we're in the car we're heading home that was pretty quick considering we got up at 7 30 took a shower got dressed off the ship by 8 10 and in the car by 8 30 most of that was walking time to get from the ship to the car park next to the main parking lot which is where we had to park for the two-day cruise so we are heading home hello there's an excited puppy. <laughs> 